Today, impeachment charges announced by Nancy Pelosi. Not only we're gonna have that video for you, but also a, I would say a stressful tense exchange between her and a reporter. So stick around for that, but first, here is the actual announcement. Our democracy is what is at stake. The president leaves us no choice but to act because he is trying to corrupt once again the election for his own benefit. The president has engaged in abuse of power, undermining our national security and jeopardizing the integrity of our elections. His actions are in defiance of the vision of our founders and the oath of office that he takes to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Sadly, but with confidence and humility, with allegiance to our founders and a heart full of love for America. Today, I am asking our chairman to proceed with articles of impeachment. Okay, if you want details on uh, the current idea of what those charges individually might be, how many there might be, up on the YouTube channel for the damage report, I did a live video breaking that down earlier today. But we expect that there will be several, and uh, just important, bear in mind, only one needs to actually be supported by the by the House uh, for impeachment to happen. Yeah, um, she continues to aggressively be uncharismatic, but the I, I, I do mm -hmm. like that they're moving forward. I mean, it's crazy that it took this long because again, you only need a simple majority in the House to then move it to the Senate. And the Democrats have had the majority for a while now. Uh, so Pelosi should have moved forward more quickly, but I'm glad she's doing the right thing in this instance. Yeah, yeah, the question will be, I don't wanna focus too much on the charges, but there was a source in the House Judiciary Committee that implied that there might be a charge related to obstruction of justice, not in this particular case, but having to do with the Mueller report, which I did not expect because they said that they were gonna keep this constrained to the Ukraine scandal. If they were to have at least one charge that had to do with something about obstruction of justice with the Mueller report, do you think that that would help or hurt the effort? Well, artificially confining it to just the Ukraine or just Ukraine, <laughs> I don't get. We can't help but say that. I don't get why that's important, but it is. Um, uh, the <laughs> it was it was uh, self defeating already and bizarre. Mm -hmm. So I mean, Trump has clearly, as outlined in the Mueller report, report uh, commit, committed potentially impeachable offenses, and you had to go through that process. I don't know why you would constrict yourself, except that you kind of made the determination that the Russia story was politically disastrous for you in the polls or something, which I would say it's more convoluted than what we see with the Ukraine, which was with Ukraine, which was a <laughs> uh, <laughs> which was a clear quid, quid pro quo. Um, but so that's I think why maybe they she, she tried to make those political machinations, but yeah. it still didn't make sense. You have to if the president is doing something illegal, you have to move forward with looking into those no matter what the political ramifications might be. Exactly, uh, now after the, the bit of video that you saw the press conference went forward, she went to leave the room, but that was not the last we heard from her. Uh, thanks to Sinclair broadcasting reporter James Rosen who left Fox News after sexual harassment allegations. He had a question of Nancy Pelosi at the last minute. You hate the president, Madam Speaker? Because I don't, I don't Collins, hate anybody. Representative I Collins, the reason I ask. We don't hate anybody, not anybody in the world. So don't, don't right. accuse me. I did not accuse you. You did, you did. I asked a question. Representative Collins yesterday suggested that the Democrats are doing this simply because they don't like the guy. I have nothing to do with that. I think it's an important I point. I think the president is a coward when it comes to helping uh, our, our kids who are afraid of gun violence. I think he is cruel when he doesn't deal with the, the helping our dreamers, the, of which we're very proud. I think he's in denial about the, about the uh, climate crisis. However, that's about the election. This is about the elect, take it up in the election. This is about the Constitution of the United States and the facts that lead to the president's violation of his oath of office. And as a Catholic, I resent your using the word hate in a sentence that addresses me. I don't hate anyone. I was raised in a way that is full, a heart full of love and always prayed for the president. And I still pray for the president. I pray for the president all the time. So don't mess with me when it comes to words like that. 
Okay, so uh, that like I try you in the morning. I have to produce the. Sh- okay, I'm not accusing. I'm not. Um, I, so I in the morning I have to find <laughs> like if I want to have videos to show, I gotta find them. So on yeah. Twitter, I tried to find videos of Nancy Pelosi announcing the articles of impeachment, and it was difficult because that video was all you could find. Because did you see she melted down? She had a hysterical fit. She was smiling. It was weird. Don't get me wrong. It was awkward. <laughs> I don't. I don't she really get angry, any of it. But like she. But she a, wasn't she, like. Oh, I will drink the blood of the firstborn. Yeah, she wasn't calling the press like the enemy of the people. Yeah, for instance. that's good. That's right. Good. Right. Yeah. Thank you, John. <laughs> 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 but yeah, no. I mean, I, the gesturing was unbelievable. But mm-hmm. like, I just couldn't. I, I didn't get what this was, but you pointed out to me that it was a solidarity. Some bracelet. sort of ban having to do with yeah, gun violence. But but you know what? I, the as a Catholic thing, I don't get it. Like as a Catholic, there are a lot of Catholics who have voted for terrible things, like the Iraq War. Pelosi did oppose the Iraq War, so credit to her there. But uh, but yeah, no, I it, like. But I, I don't like artificially bringing religion into it and saying that you can't say the H word. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it sounds like I'm getting lectured by my grandma, but I'm happy that she stood up to this kind of sleazy reporter. Yeah. I just find like kind of all sides are a little insufferable and on their own high yeah, horses. Yeah, yeah, I'm not ready. Like, uh, first of all, she she didn't like lose it in a way that made her look bad. But I'm also not gonna like you know do <laughs> yes, that. I don't. Okay. Catholic. Yeah, I, I, like I there's there's a couple of queens I'll yes, but none of them. I was gonna say none are in politics, one's in politics, but she's not it. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I don't wanna harbor this too much, except the right, like, that's their whole thing these days. Like, Ben Shapiro tweeted about that, like, does anyone watch that and not think she hates Trump? What do you care about someone's feelings, Ben Shapiro? What does that have to do with anything? I looked in the Constitution, it doesn't say you can only impeach a president if you're his biggest fan. Yeah. It doesn't have anything to do with anything. Ben Shapiro likes every politician. Does Donald Trump like Nancy Pelosi? No, all this is BS. Who cares? It has nothing to do with anything. I know. Well, I mean, it was a, it was a dis, a, a, a question designed to inflame uh, debate and be like, you know, make her seem emotional. So there is that sexist element yes. as well, um, which we should point out. Uh, but but obviously, her reaction was a little bizarre. Glad she stood up to him. Don't understand what Catholicism has to do with it. But uh, Merry Christmas. Thank you for watching this clip from The Damage Report. For more content from the show and access to TYT Network members only exclusives, go to tyt.com slash Brooke. Wait, no, it's tyt.com slash John. Go to tyt.com slash John to sign up.